Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to import the collection from Swagger to Postman. So we all know Swagger. I mean, uh, most of the company follow, I mean, uh, try to uh, uh, locate and I mean, try to uh, keep this uh, all API endpoints uh, related to the projects. They will maintain in the Swagger, right? So this is how the Swagger looks. So this is, I mean, uh, some sample uh, Swagger, uh, I mean, given by the Swagger team, which is Swagger Pet Store, okay? So if you go here, Right. So here you can see this is a Swagger file for, I mean, a Swagger, uh, I mean, a page for the particular this pet store. Okay. So here you can see, I mean, there are so many uh, categories are available. You can see one is a pet and one is store and one is user. And it has uh, different, different uh, API endpoints. Right. So first you have to, I mean, this is for post and this is for put patch and store. I mean, uh, get post, delete, user, everything. Right. So, I mean, uh, this is quite uh, difficult all the time. You have to come here and you have to, I mean, click on the tryout and you have to pass the things. Uh, I mean, you have to put ID and everything, right? So instead of doing this, what you can do, you can, I mean, export this complete collection, whatever you have in the Swagger page, you can completely export and you can keep it in the postmark where you can make it as a easy and handy to uh, perform the API testing. So now what you have to do, you, I mean, upon coming to this uh, particular uh, Swagger page, so for this one, we, we just, I mean, came to the pet store. So likewise, we have a number of uh, uh, Swagger pages available. Maybe this is for one of the sample, right? So when it is come to the real time, you should also have some Swagger page. So here you can see the URL, right? So simply copy this URL or, or open in the new, uh, I mean, page. So this is how the, I mean, it looks. So maybe in your case, it look like this. Okay, so I have... Some, Put some add-on so that's the reason i could see like as a i mean proper json structure okay so what you have to do you just copy this url okay so these are the three steps we have you have to open the swagger and copy the json link of what we have done now and you have to import to the postman so now you can come to the uh, postman so here uh, we don't have anything called pet, pet store right so this collection they have named as a, a swagger pet store so this is a, this is going to be a collection name okay so you can come to the postman and you can uh, go for an import option. So where you have to go to this link. Okay, so here you can see this is where petstore.swagger.json, right? So this is an example they have given. But whatever we copied, so we just paste this one and click on the continue. Okay, so now you can see the details. So the, the collection name should be the uh, Swagger Pet Store. That's what we have seen in the uh, Swagger page as well, right? And format is 2.0 and uh, import as a API. And here you can see the documentations I mean, how do you want to uh, link this collection as documentation or test suite or integration? Test? So you can even choose like a test suite also fine. And you can go for some advanced option also if you need. And I mean, you can, I mean, leave this as it is for the advanced option. And you can go for import, right? So as soon as you click on the import, okay, now this is success. So now you can see here on the left side, Swagger Pet Store, I mean, uh, imported, right? So now we can go to the collection. Yeah, so now we can, if you expand this one, so this is what we have seen in the the actual uh, Swagger page as well, right? So one is pet, we have one is store, one is user. So that is what we have, one is pet and one is store, right? And one is uh, user, right? So all the three folders came successfully. So now we can play around with the Postman itself, okay? So instead of uh, playing all the things in the Swagger, you can import this collection simply to the, your particular um, postman then you can play around so if uh, if it has, has any environment variables it will come otherwise uh, i mean so it has some api actually so this collection what we have i mean i mean uh, downloaded i mean imported it has some api also okay so this from the here you can you can start working on your particular apis okay so that's all about this video only three steps you have to follow mm -hmm. one is uh, you have to open the swagger and you have to uh, copy the URL, JSON copy, I mean, JSON URL, then you have to go to the postman to import the same. Okay. So that's all guys. Thank you.